Good evening, everybody. Hello, Jose Francisco, Mauricio, Oscar Humberto, Erling. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Okay. Hey, good evening, Erling. How are you? Sorry, good evening, teacher. I'm good. Great. It was Excellent. Amazing in my day. Oh, really? Go, yes. Why? Uh, I got a lot of uh, things to, to do this day mm -hmm. for every single person in my, in my job. But it was very good day because I... I I needed to move for here, for San Salvador. From here to San Salvador. Wherever. Okay, great, excellent. That's good. I would have an, a nice day today. So it's a good way to begin with the, with the week, right? Yeah. Great, great, great. Excellent, thank you. All right, so let's see. Mr. Daniel Castro, good evening. Irma Noemi, good evening. Marta, good evening. Sandra, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Sandra, 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 are you the one from San Miguel? Yes. Perdón. Are you from San Miguel? No. Yes. Yes. The week I live in San Salvador. Ah, all right. So, and, and how is the weather in San Miguel? Is it hot? <laughs> sí. <laughs> oh, my God. I can imagine. Very hot. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Okay. It's already 8 p.m., but we are just going to wait for two minutes for the rest of your classmates to join the class. All right. So, we can start with the presentation for today. I'm going to share the presentation so you can see it right now. All right, there you go. Let's see the team. Can you see the screen guys? Yes? Yes. Great, excellent. This one. Oh, and Elizabeth, good evening. Mm. Mr. Bardo, good evening. It's good to see you from the beginning of the class. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, I'm a little tired, teacher. Oh, I can imagine. It's Monday and it was a busy day for some people, right? Yeah. My day off is Thursday and Friday. Oh, I see. So you have been, this is your third day then. You're number three. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, teacher, uh, hoy estaré como oyente. Ah, sí? no. Sí, All right. No puedo participar. Trataré de participar, pero... All right. No maybe, you can, so maybe you can try to use the chat, right? Okay. Okay, cool. Excellent. Thank you. All right, so it's already eight with two minutes, eight o'clock, I mean, 8 p.m. in two minutes. All right, so we are going to um, start with the class for today. All right, so good evening, everybody, officially, right? So welcome to the class. I hope you have had an amazing weekend, right? Espero que tenido un muy buen weekend. All right, so and let's start with the class for today. Good evening, Nancy. I can see you now. All right, so Mr. Off, good evening. Good evening. All right, all right. And let's start with this one right here. Oops, there you go. You know, 
as in every class, I like to start the class with a tongue twister. So we can start practicing, right? Every single day we have a new one. So you can practice your pronunciation, right? And intonation. All right. Let's say this one right here. All right. So let's see. It says right here, a big black bug. Repeat it, everybody. A big, black, a big bug. black bug beat a big black dog mm -hmm. beat a big black dog all right excellent on his big black nose on his big on black his big black nose all right, excellent. So let's do this one here, everybody. And it says like a big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. One more time. A big black dog beat a big black dog on his big black nose. There you go, excellent. Thank you very much. So you were doing a very good job on this one, all right? So let's see, let's practice one more time. Remember, it's a big, Black bug beat a beat black dog on his big black nose. All right, so let's see. You want to try one more time? Let's see, let's see. Practice, practice, practice. And uh, well, do we have a volunteer already? Any volunteer, any volunteer? To start with that. All right, Apner Molina. All right, Apner, let's start with you. Go ahead. Yes. Abner? Go ahead. We cannot listen to you, Abner. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Abner. Try to see what happens, and then you try it again later, all right? Anybody else? Any other volunteer? Hello? Oh, Mr. Gonzalez. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> All right, excellent. So, okay, go ahead, my friend. Try again. Uh, a, a big black bow. Beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Amazing, easy, right? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Wait, what is that, people? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody with the phone there. <laughs> All right, excellent. So let's do this one. And uh, that was it. Okay, Abner, were you able to fix the problem with the audio? No? All right, no problem. Any other volunteer people? Thank you, Nancy. Go ahead. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Excellent. Easy, right? Yes or no? Yes. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nancy. That was amazing. All right. What about the rest? Thank you, Nancy. Good job. Any other volunteer? If not, Nancy will select someone. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, Anna. Okay. Hello, okay. Anna, volunteer. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, Abner. Uh, we can hear you now. Vamos con Anna if you want, and then after Anna, you go ahead. All right? Okay, all right. All right, excellent. Thank you. Anna, go ahead, please. Uh, a big black dog with a big black dog with a big black dog. Excellent. All right, there you go. Easy. You see, porque se motivan facilito, right? So, very good. All right, very good, very good. Thank you, Abner. Go ahead. A big black bug beat a big black dog on oh, his yeah, big yeah. black nose. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. That was easy for you. Good, good, good. Thank you, my friends. Anybody else? Hello, hello. Volunteer, volunteers. No volunteers. All right, Neftali, uh -huh. Erlin, Carla, 
Luis, uh, Luis Alberto already happened or passed already. So let's see, Maria. Uh -huh. Well, Abner, you will have to select someone there. Ah, ya se puso oyente Neftali, you see. <laughs> All right, so very good. Uh -huh. So, una pregunta, nada más, ¿cómo se dice? A big black bug, el B bug, yeah, like with a letter O, exactly. Bug. All right, try it. Lo voy a intentar, teacher. All right. A big black bug beat a big black dog on his big black nose excellent that's it very good you do it you did it very good all right so no problem thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank you all right oh hello maria 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 how are you hello teacher i'm fine how about you i'm doing good thank you for asking all right so go ahead please okay a big black bug big a big black dog on his big black nose all right excellent thank you very much that was super easy thank you maria so who's missing here let's see uh-huh anybody else the last one the last one. Oh, here we have william all right so i have raul uh-huh i have mr rano huh mr rano what happens mm -hmm. who else who else uh -huh, mr rano you want to try it go ahead please Yes, yes, yes. Okay, teacher. A bit black dog beat a bit black dog and this bit black nose. All right, that's easy, you see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, now we're going to stop right here. Thank you to everybody who participated. Gracias a todos los que participaron. All right, so remember, like the more you practice, the better you get. And the more participate, mejor es well, but right? And uh, let's say this one. We are going to check attendance right now. Antes de que se me vaya otra vez. Like the last time, I almost forget it, but not anymore. All right, so let's see. Attendance, we're going to check it right now. It says right here. Let's see. Today it's Monday the 8th, all right? Up near Molina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. All right, so that will be this one. Alexa Cibrian. Alexa, Alexa, not here. Okay, so we go with that zero. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present. Thank you. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Not here yet. All right. Uh, Mr. Pardo, he's here. No problem. All right. David Munguia. No David yet. Okay. Uh, Neftali, he, yeah, he just participated. Okay. Thank you. All right, Erling Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, provecho. All right. Thank you. Irma, está ahí de oyente, dijo. Present. Ah, hello, ya puede participar, mm -hmm. excelente. All right, so. No, todavía no. <laughs> All right, Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Jose Francisco Ordóñez. Yes, I get the internet. All right. Me, let's see. Miss Lopez, Carla Milena. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Santos. ¿Qué dijo Eduardo Santos? Ah, yes. Ya nos dijo ahí en el chat. All right, very good. Luis Humberto. Luis Humberto González. Yes, he was participating before. Eh, Maria Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you. There you go. Mr. Ruano. Yes, right. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Present teacher. Thank you. 
All right, Oscar Giovanni. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right, Oscar Humberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Ramirez. Mm -hmm. Mauricio Ramirez, Aña, yes, he's here. Present, present. Thank you. All right, Sandra Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right, Sonia Maribel. Not here, okay. William Giovanni. Present. Thank you, all right. So teacher. This one, yes. Present, teacher, me había levantado un momentito. <laughs> yes, no problem, si lo notamos. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so we are going to continue here. Let's see, I have a message in the chat. Present, says Francisco. Yeah, don't worry. All right, so let's see. Let's continue with this one right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see what the topic for today is going to be. And this is related to a formal email. So how do you send formal emails, all right? So in today's class, we are going to study how to actually... Um, you know, practice with those, I mean, practice how to write those uh, formal emails that you guys can actually do when you send um, an email, you know, to another department in your company or when we are sending emails to our boss, mandamos en correo al jefe, right, etc. So let's see this one right here. Pero tenemos que entender que es un formal email first. Um, first of all, here, Creo que todos entendemos, vamos a, a revisar eso ahorita, que es un email. ¿Estamos todos familiarizados con qué es un email? Are you familiar with what with the meaning of emails? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right. Excellent. So an email, it's you know something that we send all right to a person or organization, all right, to you know, to deliver a message, right? So, but we have something different right here, which is formal, a formal email. What's the difference between an, you know, informal or the formal email? That the formal emails are the ones that you are going to send, uh, you know, in your job, for example, to a different department, to a boss, to a coworker, and it, it has to be related to your job, right? So then you go and say, for example, um, a formal email, it's an email that you send to a person or group of people that you don't know, or an important email that you are sending to a person in a position of authority, all right? Super important when it says in a position of authority, which it means, you know, una posición de autoridad como un jefe, right? So, have you ever, have you ever sent an email to your boss? All right, so like this one, have you ever sent an email to your boss? Have you ever sent an email to your boss? ¿Alguna vez le han enviado un correo a su jefe? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, excellent. And how do you normally start uh, with that email? All right, so how do you normally start the, like with that email? Like with WhatsApp, que ondas, no, right? How do you start with that one? ¿Cómo se empieza normalmente un email? Mm -hmm. Mister, dear, dear, for example, and things like that. Now, let me share here. I have, uh, I was just looking for some information earlier. All right, so you can see like some tips to like, um, writing better emails, all right? We're going to go essentially on this one, right? So let me see here, one second. All right, excellent. So I have this one right here for you. One second. And this is about how to use this one. Let me know if you can see the new screen, please. Can you see it? Yes. yes. 
All right, excellent. So the format of a formal email in English, all right? So it's very simple. Every email has to be sent and it has three main uh, parts, right? So the first one, it's going to be the introduction. The introduction, then we go with the body of the text and the conclusion, all right? So those are like the three here. All right, so one more time, everybody repeat it. Introduction, repeat everybody. Introduction. 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 Body of the text. Repeat it. Body of the text. Body of the text. Body of the text. Of the text. And conclusion. 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 Yeah, exactly, right? So we go on this one right here. So uh, that's basically like the whole thing there, all right? So in, uh, let's just go and explain one by one. Let's explicar uno por uno here. All right, so let's just go on this one right here. Yeah, when it comes to the introduction, it says right here, depending on the type of relationship you have with the person you are writing to, there are different ways of starting an email, but any email should always start with a greeting. Our specific case, being formal, the most appropriate options are the following. All right, so todos los emails empiezan con... Eh, un saludo, right? So, una introduction. Pero en este caso, all right, in our specific case right here, we are going to be formal, 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 formal. That's the difference right here, formal. All right, and we have some examples right here for this formal. Este video is actually como algo super standard that we're going to use. Depending of the type of relationship you have with the person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Erling. He was reading. No problem. It's good because he's practicing, right? So good. Let's see. It says here, dear. Right? So with the dear here, it's just like estimado, apreciado, or in algunos casos querido, depending on the context. In este caso, no estimado. All right. Luego tenemos estas abreviaturas, las cuales son important that you know the difference. ¿Cuáles son las diferencias entre Mr., Mrs., and Miss? Veamos. ¿Quién sabe esos? Mr. Mrs. y Miss. Ajá. Mr. es señor. Yeah. El segundo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Miss. Es eh, casada. Casada. Yeah. Y la última es soltera. Señorita. That's correct. All right. Tenemos ahí Mr. Mrs. y Miss. All right. Y luego tenemos like this one, which is like the surname here. What's the meaning of surname, people? Do you know the meaning of this word? What is surname? Mm -hmm. Apellido. Yes, all right. It's the same as last name. All right, so the surname is the same as last name, all right? So of the recipient, all right? So what's the meaning of recipient, people? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. What's the meaning of this? Del que recibe. Yes. And how do you say that in English, in Spanish? And so Receptor sería. Receptor or what? Destinatario. Destinatario. So we're going to say like that one. Uh -huh. El receptor del mensaje, right? Very good. Excellent. So we go on this one right here. Then um, we continue here. And it says, I tenemos an example here. Mr. Black, all right? So, dear Mr. Black, or we can have, for example, in those cases right here. Eh, veamos, ¿quién está aquí? For example, dear Miss Ochoa. All right, like this. And we've got this example, and we have this one right here. You see? This one. All right, estimada señorita Ochoa. All right, so, or if we talk, for example, I was here, Anne Elizabeth. Anne Elizabeth is um, a married woman, right? So, entonces, para Anne Elizabeth sería Mrs. Eh, Aquino, I guess, if I'm not wrong. All right, so we call this one. Dear Mrs. Aquino. There you go. And tenemos this one right here. Apreciada señora de aquí. All right. That's what we say right here. Questions, people? Hasta ahorita. Yes, no? Vocabulary? No questions about the vocabulary? 
No? No, teacher. All right, no problem. So we go on this one, the second one. Eh, we are going to continue using this one right here. Vamos a utilizar entonces ahora, sir or ma'am. All right, so when you don't know the name of the recipient, all right? So, for example, vamos a escribirle un, un correo a alguien que sí si sabemos que quizás sea encargado de esta área, but we don't know the name, all right? So no le podemos decir, estimado Mr. Fulanita o Mr. Fulanito, all right? So, because we don't know the name, the last name, right? So, entonces decimos sir or ma'am, right? Se ve, por ejemplo, que la persona es un hombre y es encargado del lugar, so say, Dear sir, o si es una señora, all right, una mujer en general, all right, so dear ma'am, all right, que sería como like this one, o nos vamos con el más común, que si nos evitamos esas y decimos to who it may concern, all right, a quien corresponda, that's actually what the famous to who it may concern means, this one, all right, so I'm going to send it to the chat right now. So you can see it here. Who am I concerned? I can correspond. Like this. All right, excellent. Hi guys, how do you say I can correspond? To who it may concern. All right, excellent. So questions? No questions? Very good, excellent. So we'll just continue with this one. It says later, after the initial greeting, you need an introductory sentence that indicates clearly the reason for writing and is uh, consistent with the subject of the email. Introduce yourself briefly, you know, because the long test, actually it's something that nobody wants to read, all right? No nos pintamos cuando tenemos textos muy largos, vamos saltando y vamos buscando como lo más importante, right? So that's why it says here, no long test. Then eh, we have actually this one right here, the first one. Take a look at this one right here. It says, I am writing with regard to. With regard to, what's the meaning of with regard to? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. In regard to? No idea? Con respecto, con respecto a? Exactly. Thank you, Maria, for using, um, you know, your tools to find the, the answer. That was actually good. All right. Con respecto a? Y el subject del email. Oh, recordemos, right? Cuando mandamos un email, siempre nos pide un subject. You know? So, siempre nos pide un subject. What is the subject, people? Mm -hmm. What is the subject? Do you know it? El sujeto a quien va a dirigir. All right. Uh, parece como sujeto, pero en este, just like, uh, uh -huh. sería como like, like the reason why, you know, using an email. Como el porqué del email. Yeah. So uh, it would be just like that one. All right, so, por ejemplo, solicitar información acerca de, por favor, imprimir los siguientes reportes, etc. Right, so, entonces, por ejemplo, el email subject could be, eh, cuando ustedes mandan correo para fornito de tal, eh, con copia a fornito de tal, eh, y ahí el, el, la razón del email, eh, solicitud de cambio de máquina. All right, y después del saludo vas con like, I'm writing with regard to, y empezamos. And writing with regard, in, sorry, I am writing with regard to change my computer. Hablo acerca de cambiar mi computadora because it's not working, for example, right? Or un sinónimo right here, which is like in connection with, right? Que sería como like en relación a también, basically, o en referencia a, which is this one we have right here. So we have three here, which is, are, are, are actually very common, right? And um, for example, this is used when you're asking for something, right, in general. Pero también tenemos emails eh, cuando enviamos información y en ese caso podemos hacer uso de estas palabras o de esas frases que tenemos aquí. For example, right, I'm writing to let you know. Estoy escribiendo para hacerte saber. En este caso, I'm not asking for information. Estoy dando a conocer 
información here. All right, so I am delighted to tell you. Mira, tenemos una palabrita aquí que vale la pena eh, revisar. All right, so what is this one, people? Delighted, 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 delighted. What is Encantado, it? encantado. Encantado, all right? But not like Shrek, all right? So, sería un encantado de like con mucho gusto. All right, so I am delighted to tell you, encantado de decirte, for example, que ha sido promovido para el, el puesto de supervisor. Oh my God, so you're happy, all right? Se está comunicando, por eso dice acá, if you're communicating good news. Ojo, hay que ser muy, muy cuidadoso con el, con el eh, vocabulary, right? No le va a decir, for example, a notificar a alguien, mire, estoy encantado de decirle que se va. No, right? So that wouldn't be correct. That wouldn't be proper. O sea, sería ahí, estoy encantado de decirle que ha sido promovido, que ha sido ascendido, que se le va a dar un aumento, etc. Right? Right. Then, I regret to inform that. Aquí se sería para la like, bad news, right? Que serían malas noticias. So it would be this one right here, all right? Por ejemplo, cuando pide uno un, un, un uh, aumento y le dicen, I regret to inform you that the rice has been canceled. No le probaron el, el aumento, right? So you go in this one. Questions about this, people? Yes or no? No questions? Good, excellent. Let's just continue with this one right here. Eso que acabamos de ver es just nada más acerca de eh, la introducción. ¿Cómo va a ir eso? Right? So, antes de seguir con el body of the text, recapitulemos. ¿Qué lleva la introduction, people? What does the introduction include? Hmm? Hello. ¿Qué lleva la introduction? Yes. Greeting. Un greeting. What else? Thank you. Uh -huh. What else? What else? Lleva un saludo y lleva una oración eh, de introducción, right? Like lo que estábamos viendo acá. Ese que estábamos viendo aquí. You see? Lleva los saludos como estimado señor o señora, estimado fulanito, right? O a quien corresponda, como hemos visto acá. Y luego, después de ese, vamos con una oración introductoria. Miren, an introductory sentence. It says like, estoy escribiendo respecto a, o en referencia a, o para dar estas noticias, right? So, in response to, para replicar, for example, right? So, cuando contestamos el correo, podemos escribir la like, estoy escribiendo para responder a, o responder por, o para agradecer, por ejemplo, regresar una eh, saludo, right? And then, vamos entonces con el body of the text. All right, with the body of the text, there are no conventional formulas for writing the body of the text because this varies according to the function of what you need to communicate. It's useful to prepare an initial draft and then proceed with any corrections. Why can't this say actually I go super important, all right? Veamos here, what is this word? Draft. ¿Qué es un draft, people? Do you know it? Borrador. Yes, como un borrador, pero no para borrar, like, for example, eh, lo que nosotros le llamamos aquí machote. You know? All right, so un machote. Eh, and what is this one right here? It's just basically, vaya, eh, meto mi idea ahí y después lo leo y reviso si está bien redactado, si me excedí en algo, si, you know, puse una frase así que no fuera a ser tan eh, formal, perhaps. Y si no, pues lo modifico o lo envío así como está después de revisarlo. Entonces, es actually important to prepare an initial draft para saber exactamente qué es lo que va a llevar el email. All right, so in is as this right here, there are no conventional formulas. No hay una fórmula específica para el contenido del email, right? Como para el, el, el cuerpo de correo. ¿Por qué? Porque eso depende de lo que usted esté pidiendo. It depends on what you're asking for. Ahí es donde va. Después de esa frase que estoy comunicándome para, y ahí va lo que usted necesita pedir, pedir información, solicitar, informar, recapitular, aclarar, etc. Right? So we go on those things right here. Aunque no hay una regla específica, tenemos like some actually rules here that are, that the text should be divided into short paragraphs that avoid abbreviations 
and acronyms, both of which you can use. On the contrary, when you write a formal email to family and friends. Super important right here. Tal vez no hay como un formato del correo o del cuerpo de correo, pero la general rules dice que debe estar dividido in short paragraphs, all right? Nada de grandes testamentos, like emails, right? Sino que es un short paragraph de dos o tres líneas, maybe the must, all right? And, all right, zero abbreviations, all right? So abbreviations, for example, a veces nos gusta cuando chequeamos usar abbreviations, right? So, like, for example, would be a good abbreviation que ustedes utilizan a la hora de chatear en inglés. ¿Cuál sería una de ellas? A ver. Mm -hmm. Una abbreviation, ¿cuál sería? NQM. NQM. Like, that's in Spanish, e right? TQM. Ajá, exactly, like in Spanish, right? But for example, usted no puede decirle, eh, empezar con Dear Mr. González y escribir un gran correo y al final eh, te quiero mucho. No, right? So that wouldn't be correct. That's no correct. No correct. All right. A menos que sea un eh, correo personal. Ahí sí. O un informal, right? So ahí le puede poner usted lo que usted guste. All right. So based on the type of message you are sending, there are many ways to write a fun and invitation before ending an email such as the following we have right here, all right? Take a look. It says, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Este es como like una frase que podemos utilizar hasta cierto punto como para generar un poquito de presión en la persona que está del otro lado para que me responda lo más pronto posible. All right, it's como like, hello William, este es JJ, le manda decir esto, 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 esto y lo otro y espero escuchar de usted pronto. O sea, decir como me urge, right? Sin decir me urge, sino que simplemente espero escuchar pronto de usted. Luego ponemos thank you in advance. Por ejemplo, estamos pidiendo un favor. All right. Podemos decir thank you in advance, que no significa gracias en avanzado, right? Sino que significa gracias de qué people. ¿Qué sería ahí? Sería como decir de antemano muchas gracias. Por ahí más o menos, o gracias de antemano, for example, all right? Remember, tenemos like, look forward to hearing you. ¿Qué sería? Espero escuchar a ti, de ustedes, pronto. Very good. La otra que sería, thank you in advance. ¿Qué sería gracias de antemano. All right, and then, for further information, please don't hesitate to contact me, que sería un closing, así más o menos como de customer service, you know? En el caso de que la like, si necesita asistencia, en, en asistencia eh, por favor, no dude en contactarme. Aquí está el no dude en contactarme. So it will be like, do not hesitate to contact me. Like this one, right? There you go. Don't hesitate to contact me. All right. And thanks for your attention. All right. So we go on this one right here. ¿Qué podría ser como like eh, una forma de ir cerrando el cuerpo de email? Right. Tenemos esas frases here. Or dependiendo de lo que por supuesto estamos pidiendo. Right. Um, si yo hago una solicitud. All right, so estoy haciendo una solicitud y quiero en, en pedir y esa información, puedo ocupar, por ejemplo, eh, como estos, right? Like, I'm looking forward to hearing you. Eh, gracias de antemano. All right, so, or thanks for your attention. Because in that case, I am asking for some information. Estoy pidiendo información y ya sea que le ponga, espero escuchar de ustedes pronto, Gracias de antemano o gracias por su atención como una cortesía y a la vez presionar un poquito para que me respondan rápido. All right. So, y en los casos de aquí, for example, en estos que tenemos here, this one or this one, all right, son como avisos, right? So, como para decirte, vaya, en caso de que tengas información adicional, por favor, no trates de decirme, no, no trates de que contactarme, no dudes en contactarme, perdón. Y la última que es, por favor, si tiene más preguntas, Ajá. Uh -huh. Y hágamelo saber. Dime, Serrano, with regards to salary increase, was approved. Ah, vaya. 
el correo que todos queremos recibir. All right, so, like to get a higher email. Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de cómo ir cerrando la parte del cuerpo del email. How to close it? No. Vocabulary. Hello, hello. No vocabulary, so no problem. Then you go on this one right here. All right. It says now that it's time to talk about the conclusion. All right. The conclusion says the most common way to end an email are frases como saludos cordiales, que se pueden ser estas dos aquí. All right. So this one, ¿ves? saludos cordiales. Uh, yours faithful if you began with the email with their sir, madam, because you don't know the name of the recipient. All right, entonces podemos utilizar este que tenemos aquí para poder despedir el correo hacia alguien de cual no sabemos cuál es el nombre. Yours sincerely, all right, como para ser un poco más personalizado, pero no es que quieras traducirse literalmente como like, comple sinceramente tuyo, no, all right? So es como like una uh, cuestión de atención, right? Sinceramente o atentamente, más que todo eso sería como your sincerely, sería como que atentamente. All right? In regards, sería como like saludos también. Este. Saludos cordiales, el primero. All right, saludos, la ponen por aquí. Saludos cordiales. And that will be all. Simplemente saludos. That's it. All right, to finish with this one right here. Thank you. All right, everybody. Anybody else here? Questions? No? But good. What's the mean faithfully? Excuse me? What is the mean faithfully? Faithfully. It, it has a different meaning depending on the, on the context that you're giving, right? So, for example, in this one right here, It might sound like, eh, sinceramente, o agradecidamente, o, you know, things like that. Pero solo la palabra faithful viene de otro significado, all right? Which is different right here. So, let's see this one. One second. All right. So, la palabra faithful tiene varios significados. So one of them, it will be eh, just like this one, fiel. All right? So, pero será que aquí dice... Tuyamente tuyo fiel o como es la cosa aquí sería yours faithful. Fielmente. Tuyo fielmente. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería esa frase ahí? Tu fielmente. Ajá. Ese yours faithfully sería como les acabo de decir atentamente. Atentamente. Correct. Atentamente. Aunque obviamente si tú vas y buscas en el traductor te aparecerá como fiel la palabra faithful. Right. En este caso, esa combinación de palabras yours faithfully significa atentamente. So we're going like this one. Understand? Any other word? No? All right. Excellent. So if you don't have any other wall or any other question regarding that one, So let's just continue and see this one right here. We have an, a, an example of an email right here. Mira, tenemos el subject delivery delay. ¿Qué era el, el subject, people? ¿Cómo se le llama esa opción en Spanish, en los correos? El subject. ¿Huh? Hello? ¿Cómo se le llama el subject ahí? Sería lo que nosotros vemos en el asunto. La... Correct. Thank you very much. All right. El asunto. All right. El asunto, el asunto. All right. Excellent. Y tenemos, vaya, ¿cuál es el, el asunto de este correo, por ejemplo? Vamos a ver si aplica las reglas que tiene ahí. It's just right here. El asunto. ¿De qué sería ahí, people? Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me, yes. Delivery delay. Delivery delay, ¿qué será eso? Demora de entregas. 
That is correct. Eso es una demora en entre, de las entregas, right? So había que entregar un producto para cierto tiempo y no se pudo, right? Entonces ahí estoy mandando un correo to say sorry, ¿verdad? Good. Y vamos a ver si sigue las demás partes. De acuerdo a lo que acabamos de ver, ¿qué va primero? ¿Mm? Ya pusimos el asunto. What's next? The greeting. The greeting. Estimado señor Pascal, dice ahí. So, dear Mr. Pascal. Oh, pero mira, aquí de entrada vamos dando una mala noticia. You know? So, why is this one? Aquí tenemos, mira. We regret to inform you. Oh, hasta ahí, mira. Solo ahí, we go on this one right here. ¿Qué sería ahí? Regret to inform you, people. ¿Cómo traducirías eso? Tell me. Lamentamos informarle que... Lastimosamente, lastimosamente te informamos que... Uh -huh. Exacto. Lamentamos informarle que... Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. All right. You will not be able to respect the deadline. Previously agreed in the delivery of the order. Our supplier has warned us today that we are experiencing supply problems, which all result in the delay in the product. ¿Qué era delay dijimos entonces? Hello? Demora. Retraso, demora. Una demora, un retraso. Very good job. Excellent. All right. Ena, ¿qué sería aquí? ¿Qué sería una production chain? Estamos aprendiendo mucho de calorie tonight. Ajá. ¿Qué sería una product chain? Yes. Una cadena de producción. That's what it means, right? Una cadena de producción. All right. Y tenemos frases. Vayan anotando esta frase porque después tenemos que hacer un email. Right? So, y les va a servir un montón. All right. So, así que vayan anotando estas frases que vamos teniendo aquí. So, for example, here, this one, miren. What about this one that we have right here? Um, we can or your understanding. ¿Qué será? We count on your understanding. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening. What will that be? We count on your understanding. Contamos con tu comprensión. Contamos con tu comprensión, exactly. Te agradecemos por tu paciencia. Ahora tenemos esta otra. Here, one second. Uh, where is it? Here. Take a look to this one. Por favor, acepta our apologies. Vamos a ver si alguien se acuerda de esa palabra. Let's see. Apologies. Disculpas. Yay, that is correct, right? Por favor, acepta nuestras disculpas, right? Please accept our apologies. All right. Así que yo que ustedes le tomaba foto para copiarlo después. All right, so. Let's see, let's see. All right, questions about this? No questions? Mira, terminamos con los saludos cordiales aquí. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Este ejemplo es acerca de responder a una eh, publicidad de trabajo. Veamos. Entonces, acá el subject sería un web content editor position. Estamos hablando de la posición a la que se está aplicando. Right? In this case right here, we go to a content editor, editor position. Right? Aquí no sabemos quién es el encargado o la encargada. Entonces, mira cómo se coloca aquí. You see? It? All right, so on this one. Estimado, oops, uh, esa people. All right, so, uh, dear sir or ma'am, right, estimado señor o señora, porque estamos aplicando y no sabemos si es alguien, el señor de recursos humanos o la señora de recursos humanos, right? Entonces decimos, dear sir or ma'am. Y empezamos, with reference to your job in blah, 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 I would like to submit my application. Y esta parte, with reference to, sería como en referencia a, la posición de trabajo que ustedes tienen, etc. Right? And uh, continue with the next one right here. Which is this one. All right. 
eh, y aquí como es de trabajo, entonces la persona en el cuerpo del, um, del correo ha hablado un poco acerca de sí mismo, ¿Right? So, se habla en tal lugar, hice esto, etcétera, etcétera. Y luego ponemos acá algo para ir cerrando. Por favor, find attach, you know. What is attach, people? Adjunto. Exactly. All right. Por favor, encuentra una copia adjunta de mí. Resume. All right. Let's see this one. How do you pronounce this one right here, ladies and gentlemen? All right. How do you pronounce this one? What is it? ¿Cómo se pronunciará esa? How do you pronounce it? Uh -huh. What do you think? How do you pronounce it? Resume. Resume. <laughs> oh, so what happens with Michael? Mm -hmm. All right. Resume. So, it's a French word. Yeah. ¿Sabían ustedes que esa es una, una palabra adoptada del francés? Por lo cual su pronunciación tendría que ver con eso. All right. So, entonces estaría ahí hablando de, um, for example, resume. Repeat, resume. 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 Exactly. Resume. Right? So it's going to be like resume, no resume, ¿verdad? O anything like that. Sería ahí resume. Repeat. Resume. resume. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So you go on this one right here. All right, thank you. So questions, questions, questions. No questions. Y mira, aquí tenemos aplicada una de las frases que veíamos anteriormente. Look, ahí tenemos esta, right? I look forward to hearing from you. Right? Esperamos escuchar, espero escuchar pronto de ti, right? Como dándole un poquito de like presión al correo para que me contacten de regreso. All right. Uh -huh. Y veamos qué significaba este tipo de here. A ver si se acuerdan. Tú, fielmente. Así se, se traducía. ¿Cómo se traducía? All right. Atentamente. Atentamente. That's it. All right. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So, questions? No questions. No questions, no questions. Bah, good, excellent. Now I'm going to show you another thing that I was able to find here regarding this one. Please uh, let me know if you can see the new screen. Yes? Yes. Bah, good, excellent. So, una vez más, chicos, yo sé que esto ahorita soy yo hablando bastante, right? But I want you to like, uh, practice this one right here porque ustedes ya van a tener el chance de poder hacer su propio email right? y sigan estos tips that are very useful all right? so this one right here it's like uh, 10 tips for writing better emails all right? so that one here then the number one it says here sending to the correct person why is this important because we need to make sure that we spell his or her name correctly, right, as well, and that we're addressing that to the right person. ¿Qué tal si queremos eh, conseguir un, un reporte de contabilidad y terminamos escribiendo a la de recursos humanos que no tiene que ver con eso? Queremos ver planilla y le mandamos a, a la de publicidad, por ejemplo. So that's actually not correct, right? What about the number two? It says use the correct greetings and salutations. ¿Recordamos que era esta palabra, people? You know, eso aparecía en una clase. Remember this one? Era lo mismo que greetings, right? So it's just the same thing here. Then, um, entonces vamos a hablar de esos, like, lo que ya hemos dicho, dear can, kind regards, exactly. All right, y luego make the subject my count, all right? Get a subject, people, get a subject. Uh -huh. Asunto. 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 Very good. All right. Entonces hacemos, eh, tenemos que poner siempre que haga la, la, um, que lleve un asunto siempre. No puedo mandar un correo eh, sin asunto porque a la hora de que lo recibimos, nos aparece asignada ahí. And then we don't know what we're doing. Right. 
Use a friendly and professional tone, right? So conversational tone. No palabras tan complicadas, you know, ni, ni, things that we are not going to understand. All right, excellent. So we got this one. Start at the end. Start your email with the reason for writing. Siempre, siempre. Siempre empecemos de un solo al punto. All right, so al punto, al punto. Por eso aquí dice acá, mira, super important, right? Anota esta expression, anota esta expression que está aquí, all right? It says here, do no build up to it, all right? So no, and es como like, ¿ha? ¿qué significará eso de like, do not build up to it? ¿Qué significará, people? Do not build, do not build up to it. ¿Qué será ahí? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that one? Hello? Woo! No lo construyes. Yay, exactly, right? No es... Ajá. Podemos dejarlo como no le agregues más, ¿verdad? Que de tanto que queremos decir que nos echamos una gran historia al principio de correo y ya para cuando realmente vamos a leer lo que necesitamos, ya, like, the person doesn't want to continue reading anymore. All right, so be brief and courteous. All right, so, mira, aquí está la clave, ¿ve? Brief, brief, brief. Es decir, breve, rapidito, al punto. All right, brief. Brief, brief, brief. Mm -hmm. Then you got this one. Include a deadline. Fíjate que sería bueno siempre incluir una deadline. All right. ¿Qué es una deadline, ladies and gentlemen? Mm -hmm. Do you know it? This word? Deadline. What is it? Mm -hmm. Una fecha límite, exactly, right? All right, la deadline que tenés para entregar el reporte, el trabajo, etc. Right? And then we continue with this one right here. And it says include, uh, sorry, make us care. Show readers why uh, this is interested. Uh, why should we spend the time there? And not harass recipients. Super importante, mira, es super important right here. All right? So do not harass. What is this one, people? What is harassed? Hmm? Do you know it? Yes or no? Hello? Hello, people, are you there? <laughs> All right, so yes. ¿Qué significará array harassed? Mm -hmm. No problem. All right. So, what is it? What is it? What is harass? Hmm. Excuse me. De acosar. Acosar. Exactly. Right. Quiere decir no acoseja al recipiente, al receptor. A recipiente, oh my God. All right, al receptor, eh, because you are not going to like, mire, ya me va a responder, mire, ¿cómo va? Mire, like this one, all right? So, porque yo like, you know, no sé, people, si les ha pasado a veces, right? Pero de repente tenemos jefes, all right? Si usted es jefe, me disculpa. All right, so, tenemos jefes que acaban de enviar el correo y de repente llegan a tu cubículo y te dicen, fulanito, ya me tiene la respuesta de correo y ni siquiera lo has visto. You know what I'm saying? All right. Entonces, por eso te dice ahí, no acosar al, al receptor. Eh, podemos mandar, aquí da, una, aquí da un tip, mira. So, it says right here. Veamos, it says right here. Eh, send one follow-up message. Esto, mira. ¿Qué sería un follow-up? Un follow-up es como dar seguimiento, right? Follow-up message. Dar seguimiento. Dar seguimiento. Un follow-up message, que sería dar seguimiento. Y si ya no responden ese de seguimiento, entonces ya ahí dejamos, digamos, por terminado el asunto. All right. So, 
Well, finally, I finished talking a lot about emails, all right? So what about you? All right, time for you to start practicing here. And let's see, you know, Maria, 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 good morning. All right, so good. Let's hit this one right here. Okay, let's use the chat right now. Vamos a la chat aquí de Zoom. All right, excellent. So, everybody, necesito que me escriban en un mensajito cuáles son las primeras dos cosas que necesitan ir en el correo. Las primeras dos, las primeras dos, las primeras dos. All right. No me van a poner solo saludo porque esa es una. Son dos. What is it? What is it? Uh -huh. Yes. What is it? What is it? Uh -huh. <coughs> Greetings and the subject. El subject y el dear me ponen ahí. All right. El querido sujeto. <laughs> all right. So what is it? All right. All right. Más que más. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Greeting and subject, greeting and subject, greeting and subject, greeting and subject. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, now who can tell me introduction body of the text? Uh -huh, Maria. Eso es todo el. El email, yo solo estaba hablando de la primera parte, el introduction, all right, so, ah, la cachamos, all right, so, good, let's see this one right here, eh, viendo el otro, it says, in the body of the text, all right, so, it says right here, mándeme por favor en el chat, en el chat de, de Zoom, aquí en el chat de Zoom, Por favor, escríbame dos de las frases que podemos eh, escribir en el cuerpo del texto como una invitación final antes de terminar el email. Una final invitation before ending the email. Allá habían cinco frases. Póngame dos de esas. Veamos. Uh -huh. Estamos hablando de una final invitation before ending the email. Una invitación final antes de terminar con el correo. Eran cinco frases. Please send two of them. Vamos a ver aquí. All right. Best regards. Na, ah, ah, Ana Elizabeth. Eso va en la conclusion. All right. So, estamos hablando del body of the text ahorita. Mm -hmm. A ver, uh -huh. hello everybody, hello, hello. Están rezando las capturas. All right, so, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Understanding, apologies, deadline, no, yo quiero frases, 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 frases. Habían cinco frases para terminar con el cuerpo del texto. Uh -huh. Ese es de apologies, ajá. Uh -huh. Por ahí me ponen, ajá, uh -huh. what? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you in advance. Do not hesitate to contact me. That is correct, Nancy. That is correct. Thank you in advance. Do not hesitate to contact me. Can put so as Nancy, yes. All right. We count on your on your K William. On your what? On your what? Mm -hmm. We can, uh huh. What is it? What is it? Oh my God. Uh huh. Everybody. Uh huh. And the rest? What happens with the rest? Uh huh. Giovanni, Abner, Mauricio, Carla. Carla, because today doesn't have a camera, Carla. All right. So, Alexia. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. So, ya van a ver. Que no saben, dice. Vamos a ver. We can on your understanding and thanks. Yeah, it could be this one. Aquí está, mire, people. Mire. Ah, no, esto no era. Este. There you go. Ahí está, ve. Final invitation before ending the email, right? Que estaba dentro del de cuerpo del texto. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing you from you soon. Thank you in advance for further information. Aha, ya vieron, verdad? Great, 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 excellent. So let's see this one right here. Now, it will be just like this one here. Um, and it's time for you to practice. You put a practice, we're going to have here the first two questions. All right, take a look at this one. And it says right here, can you see the new screen, everybody? Can you see the new screen? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Excellent, yes. thank you. All right, and it will be like this one. Do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long, all right? So let's see who can translate this question into Spanish so we understand what we are actually saying. Uh -huh. What is it? Fácil. Mm -hmm. Tú envías number one. Mm -hmm. Podrías, ajá. Hello, hello. Envías eh, correos electrónicos todos los días. Exactly, right? Y la segunda parte de la pregunta, ¿qué dice? The second part of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y hey, esto lo vimos Deberían en viernes. Ser, Deberían ser emails breves. O largos. Deberían ser los correos exacto, electrónicos breves o largos. De acuerdo a los tips que hemos visto, ¿qué dicen ustedes? According to the tips that we just checked, what do you think? Brief. It'll be brief. Brief, exactly. All right, or long. Very good. Excellent. So, let's see. Vamos a ver un example here. All right. And um, let's see this one. I need a volunteer to ask me the questions. Un voluntario para preguntarme a mí las questions. ¿Cuál sería el volunteer? Who could be a volunteer? Me, teacher. All right, Erling, ask the questions to me, please. Go ahead. Do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. I send emails every day to my boss and to my coworkers. All right? Next question, Erling. Okay. Uh... Should, should emails be brief or long? Emails should be brief. Brief, brief, brief. All right, next question. Mm -hmm. And here. Can you, mention, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? All right, yes. Uh -huh. The first one was... Uh, to do not forget the introduction. All right. Uh, in the introduction, right, you know, so it says right here to be polite, to add the name, right, to say like dear Mr. or Mrs. Fulanito, Sulatanito with the last name, um, to um, the sentence that indicates the reason of this, la celebración que incluye la razón por esta llamada o este correo, right? Y al final, um, you know, just basically to close the email, all right? Very good, excellent. Eso es lo que van a hacer ustedes y empecemos a responder estas tres preguntitas. En los breakout rooms, people. There you go, excellent. So let's see this one. So, de ahora pues, hasta los breakout rooms, vamos a practice the first activity right now. Come on. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Hora de hablar, hora de hablar. No se les olvide tomar captura de eh, estas preguntas antes de irse, right? Tal vez no las puede mandar alguien al, al chat. Ok. Practice, 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 practice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh my goodness, a lot of people like just listening tonight. Hey, Erling, what are you doing here? All right. 
highlights around here. Hello, Erling. What happened? No problem, I have to be here, don't worry. All right, I'm going to move you again. Where are Erling? Oh, Erling. Yeah. Erling, accept the new invitation, please. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now it's time for me to see the rest. All right. Ajá, respond las preguntas. Okay. Listen, teacher. Ya, ya no hablemos porque viene el teacher. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Excellent. Do you have questions? We need to answer the the, the questions. The, yes. the questions. The question, right? Correct. Right. Excellent. Like those questions right there. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Aquí me quedaron cuatro al final. Los voy a separar de aquí mejor. No. Así déjenlo. Tenemos sueño. Por un tiempo que se le quite. No. Tenemos sueño, Nada, nada, nada. Ya casi nos vamos. Falta 40 minutos todavía. Pero todavía le falta redactar el email, así que no se preocupe. No, no, no. I am very tired. Ahorita no, ¿verdad, teacher? No, just like the question. Exactly. Like the or um, in my case okay i will go to a different room if you have questions call me all right okay teacher thank right. you thank you hello Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿En qué estamos, my friends? Este, um, dice Raúl que va manejando. Ok. <laughs> vamos a ver entonces, my friend. Le vamos a mover a otro lado para que vea. Practice. Ok. Para los dos, vaya, para que Raúl se quede de ahí siempre. Uh -huh. All right. Bye. Room number three. Eh, esto siempre me delata yo quiero entrar de incógnito y no puedo 
Questions, es que questions. andamos buscando una, una palabra para no ponerle así va. Como que si pueden ser cortos o largos. En la segunda pregunta. Uh -huh. Entonces yo le puse que los correos deben de ser puntual y conciso. Uh -huh. Entonces estaba buscando que era conciso y dice que de pocas y adecuadas palabras. Uh -huh. Entonces creo que está you bien. Yeah, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. Uh -huh. Ok, vaya. Entonces vamos con la número tres. Eh, Marta, no sé si tiene alguna duda porque acaba de iniciar. No, ahorita ya por la dos voy también. Okay. Ah, pues nosotros pusimos eso. M es mousse de puntual y um, conciso. Conciso. Era yo puse porque como no recibo. Sorry. Email every day. Solo le puse yes, of course. Yo le puse I had send you every day. Podemos contestar diferente, por eso. Claro, yes. there is no problem. No problem on that okay. one. Okay. Vale. Entonces iríamos por la tres. Tres consejos, dice, para escribir correos electrónicos en partido. Eh, primero, creo que tener ideas claras o la idea clara. ¿Cómo sería? To have clear ideas. To okay. have clear ideas. Very good. Pero eso sí sería, ¿verdad, Tichi? Yes, to have clear ideas. ¿Me escuchó? Sí, sí, ahorita. Okay. Uh, clear. To have clear ideas. Yes. El otro que dijo Tisher también de hacer como un borrador, ¿verdad? Machote. Uh -huh. Un draft. Machote. Un draft. Uh -huh. Yes, un draft. Un draft. Un draft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero... Ideas. Un draft. Un draft. All right. More questions, more questions. Eh, solamente solamente no problema ya, solo una quedaría que sería creo yo que leer eh, que tenía en mente a veces lo que escribimos Va. darle okay. una segunda lectura verdad también I'll be back ya regreso okay. the recipient aquí es el teacher hello sure. Eh, mire, eh, una pregunta. Eh, vaya, primero, el... Erling. ¿Me escucha? Sí, me quedé con el primero. Ajá, what happened? Los saludos. Ajá, greetings. Greetings, greetings correct. Greetings to the recipient. Recipient. Eh, mm -hmm. The recipient. Uh -huh. And then it can be to the uh, boy, boy, body of the text. text. Body of the text. Estamos hablando de la última, ¿verdad? Lo que me está diciendo. Yes. Ajá, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, de yes. la última. Sí, porque ya las la primeras dos ya las contestamos con, eh, por ejemplo, do you send emails? Yes, I, 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 I send emails. Or no, I, I don't. No, I don't. All right. ¿Verdad? All right. Yeah. Eh, yeah. Y la otra igual, ¿verdad? Should image be brief or long? I think it must be a, be, the image be... It's friend, because... Be free, be, brief, sorry. Brief. Be free, no. Brief. Brief. Another thing, right? 
Yes. <laughs> Be free. Brief. Mm -hmm. Brief. And el final, no me acuerdo. Deadline. Um, Deadline era así, como, vaya, quiero que me un reporte para tal fecha, right, o things like that. Eh, Luego, ah, como la, 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 la fecha límite. La, la, las closing, las closing uh, phrases, right? ¿Se recuerda de las closing phrases? Sí. ¿Verdad? For example, the best regards, acuérdense. Uh, like the most common way to, to end an email son como like saludos cordiales, atentamente, uh -huh. etc., right? The best es. regard, it can be the best regards. Right, exactly. Right. See? Correct. That's right. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's right. Eso vamos a poner entonces. Va, excelentísimo, my friends. Llegamos entonces hasta aquí. Vamos a regresar al, al classroom. All right. Okay. Thank you, Bye. teacher. All right. All right, so let's see here. Hello, Irma. All right, everybody, welcome back to the main session, right? So we are going to answer the questions that we have right here. And let's see, let's see. Hey, do I have a volunteer, everybody? Volunteer, 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 volunteer? Yes? Who is it? Who is it? Who's my volunteer? Let's see, volunteer. i very shy tonight, all right? Mm hmm Okay, my volunteer will be the first person who texts on the chat. How do you say negro in English? All right, to the chat, to the chat, to the chat, to the chat, to the chat. Thank you, Nancy. The first person, the first, the first. All right, volunteer. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I understand. <laughs> All right, so good. Ah, she wanted to be a volunteer. All right, thank you. All right, so um, who are you working with? Me, with, with me. Maria, and Abner, um, and Elizabeth. And, and Elizabeth, all right. Entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, Nancy y Maria, y luego Abner y Ana Elizabeth. Understand? Okay. All right, excellent. So. Nancy and Maria, ahí eh, pregúntense, ask the questions to each other, y después vamos con nosotros, personas como okay. una pareja, all right? Good, go ahead. Okay, you can ask me the first question, and I will answer to you. Uh -huh. Okay. Maria, do you send emails every day? Yes, I send emails to my customer every moment because I send a song creation with a price for we ourselves every day. Okay, thank you. Uh, second question. Okay. The second one. One, you and one me, no? Mm -hmm. The second, okay. yes, yes. Show sure sure email, email right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know what? Let me let me help you with something right here para que no nos confundamos. Por ejemplo, ahorita María acaba de responder la pregunta para poder preguntarle exactamente lo mismo a Nancy sin tener que leer todo lo demás. We can say something simple. What about you? Así, ¿eh? What about you? Ah, okay. ok. Uh -huh. Y entonces ahí Nancy tendría okay. que responder siempre la primera pregunta o la pregunta en la que estén hablando. Yes. Ok. All right. Okay. 
Ok, comencemos. María, do you send emails every day? Yes, I send emails every moment to my customers because I send some quotation. Uh, what about you? Thank you. Yes, I do. I send emails every day to my boss and my co-workers. Excellent. So Nancy uh, asked Maria, question number two. Uh -huh. Should emails be brief or long? Uh, yes, I send emails brief because they just want to check the if the price is high or the best price. Mm -hmm. What happened what to about you? What about you? Uh, I think the emails should be brief because the recipient needs to decide if the email is of interest. Great, amazing. Uh -huh. The last question. Uh, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Um, the first one is uh, if they are a surprise of uh, we are offered to them. And the second one, if uh, they want to send the, some order for the bars. And then if they ask me, uh, we need to let some price. What about you? Mm, I think uh, polite greeting, um, the description brief. Mm, that's all. Solo. <laughs> all right, exactly. Falta uno. <laughs> all right, exactly. We can say it like this one, right? So when you finish, you can say it like this. That's it. Well, that's all. So that's all. Ya como para concluir, right? Thank you. Nancy and Maria, very good job. So I really like it. Me gustó mucho cómo intentaron darle una estructura mucho más larga a la, a la question, right? Uh, so it's actually very, very good. I appreciate it. Thank you. Eh, la felicito por siempre intentar dar una respuesta un poquito más larga y con una estructura un poquito más amplia, right? So thank you very much on that one. Thank you. It's time to listen to Anne Elizabeth and Abner, all right? Misma dinámica, chicos. Alguien pregunta, el otro responde y después, what about you? Para que vayamos preguntándonos ambas eh, personas las questions, all right? Let's go ahead. Okay. Uh, um, do you send email every day? I do. I do. What about you? Remember, Abner. Okay. What about you? Uh, I send email for to my boss and co work every day. Great, excellent. Um, should let me be brief, be brief or long? I'm, I'm not... oh, okay. In my case, the email be free. What about you? In okay. my case, uh, usually send email email brief. Um, can you meet? Can you mention three tips to write effective email? Ese no lo contesté. Um, ok. I am Gray sent email for an account code or for any change to delay loudly and by uh, by some permission. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. I really like it, this one, right? So, Afner, what happens with the number three, right? Eran los tips que hemos estado viendo, right? So, el saludo, eh, ser corto, all right? So, la conclusión, like, you know, something like that. All right, so, así que pilas, pilas, Afner. Thank you very much. But anyway, Ana Elizabeth, I mean, Ana Elizabeth, 
you were doing a very okay. good job. All right, so I really like it. Thank you for trying to give the structure as well. As usually, you were doing a very good job. So congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Any other volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Uh -huh. Tonight you are very shy, huh? Bueno, y a todo esto donde anda Irma, que me dijo que solo un ratito iba a estar oyente. Iba a terminar la clase, ¿ja? Se durmió. Yo creo. All right, guess so. Ajá, volunteer, volunteer. Vamos a ver ahí. Let's see this one. All right, excellent. So, Nancy, since you were the volunteer at the beginning, I will give you the superpower to select the next person. William Giovanni. Excellent. Thank you. You know, when it says volunteer, Giovanni is like all the time, you know, looking around, right? So good. Tell me. All right, William Giovanni, who were you working with? So Erling. And Erling. All right. Excellent. Perfect. 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 Erling Castro. So tell me, uh huh? You might not make a remember. Pregunta, responden. What about you? Yes, you nos vamos con us three. All right, go ahead, okay. please. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, do you send emails every day? Yes, I send emails every single day. Okay. And you? What about you? Uh, yes, I, I send emails every single day to my boss or different places that, that I need to to sense. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, should emails be brief or long? Uh, the emails must be friends because you need to to go the point. Uh, where are you? I send you because I uh, you you need to uh, do not. Eh, oh, sorry, se me olvidó la palabra. Eh, yeah. Aburrir, bored. Bored. Yes. Uh, you need to do, not uh, burn the the person that you are sending the email. All right. Um, uh, can, uh -huh. And you mentioned three tips to write effective emails. Okay. The mystery and. Uh, uh, Read to the the reps, the reps in, reps in, uh, body of the next best regards in the type type the help. Okay. What about you? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the the first one thing that do you need to to do is the thing. Uh, the second one, uh, it can be the body of the text, but I think you need to to be uh, a little bit polite. And, and the third one and the final, you need to uh, do the best regards to the person that I do that I you send in the the email. Okay, thanks, all teacher. That's All right, it. excellent. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it, right? So you were doing a very good job as well. Bastante fluido, mucho vocabulary. Let's just work on the pronunciation of some details, right? Para que suene un poquito más natural, but you were doing a very good job. I like it. Thank you for the creativity. Muy buena creatividad, all right? So you were doing good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks. All right, let's see this one right here. Veamos, um, this one right here. Vamos a tenerlos hasta acá. Tuvimos tres parejas que they participated. And vamos, it's time for you to read, 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 read. All right. So let's see this one. Reading, reading, reading. Está cortito el reading de hoy. Este diálogo está super, super cortito. All right. So vamos a practicar aquí in the main class, everybody together. All right. So let's see. It says right here. Va, vamos repitiendo poquito a poco. Right. Después nos vamos con el diálogo. It says, do you often send emails? Repeat it. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails. It is, is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? emails? No, it is not professional. Repeat it. No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? There you go. Excellent. So in the ultima, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. There you go. Excellent. So I will be Amanda and you guys are going to be Luis. Toast to Luis and I will be Amanda. All right. Yes. Good. Yes. Do yes. you often send emails? Yes, I do. It's appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, no it's not professional. professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Excellent. Now let's change. Let's change. You are going to be Amanda and I'm going to be Luis. Right? One, two, three. Go. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It's no, it's not professional. I see. Yeah, sure. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Nice. Fácil, cortito. Very good job. Ahora quiero two volunteers, two volunteers, two volunteers. All right. Who are going to be my volunteers? Yes, yes, Teacher, yes, yes. La pronunciación, por favor, de apropiado. Appropriate. Gracias. You're welcome. So be like uh, this one. Tengo consulta, teacher. Yes. Por ser, por ser en pasado participio, no, no tiene que ser appropriate. All right. Excuse me? Eh, y es no, eso no es apropiado. No tendría que ser apropiado. Well, in this case, like here you can see it like that, all right? So you can see it's not, ya te voy a mostrar aquí, one sec. All right, so I got your point. Entiendo completamente que debería ser apropiado con, con ED, right? Yes. All right, so like this one, take a look. Veamos. It says right here, vamos a corroborar, usar el translator, eh, just to, um, to check right here, la estructura, right? So it says here, take a look. Do you see it? Yes. All right, so aquí lo acabamos de corroborar. Si yo tuviera, por ejemplo, un error, aquí me hubiera dicho, lo dices de otra forma, right? But we can enter here so we can see it, all right? We can actually use it like the main one and helpful here. Or we can go to the, um, open the website and check it out. All right, it's loading, there you go. All right. So we go on this one and we go this one. There you go. Oops. It's loading, 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 loading. There you go. Translating, it says. Aisa. There you go. Excellent. So do you see it? Um Erling? Teacher. Yes. Good. Great, great, great. Excellent. Thank you very much. So in this case, right here, it's because of that specific word. Es por esa misma eh, palabra, right? So it will be like that. I understand your point, que la, siguiendo la lógica debería decir apropiado, appropriated. All right, it is appropriate to use abbreviations. En este caso quedaría de esta forma siempre. Appropriate porque funciona esa misma palabra como adjetivo. All right, apropiado. Yes. You got it? Questions, questions? Hello? Hello, hello. Hello. Ooh. Are you there? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. So, solo. All right. So, good. Uh, let's continue. Volunteers, volunteers. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Yes, sir. That was Maria, right? Yes. Maria, who wants to participate with Maria, people? All right, and Elizabeth. All right, and Elizabeth, and go ahead. And uh, do you think, think email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is professional. I see. You share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job with the intonation and the pronunciation, all right? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Now, people, vamos a ver aquí eh, more tips right here. Eso es como un repaso de los tips que ya vimos, all right? So it says right here. Eh, let's take a look at this one. It says, so son like, like 10 tips to um, write a good email a uh, formal email, right? So, so ya la mayoría los hemos visto anteriormente, así que solo vamos a ir rapidito. Have a minute ready, buddy. Fill in, repeat it, fill in. Fill in. All right, ¿qué es fill in, people? Me parece que es llenar o incluir, right. completar. Completar o llenar, all right? Estamos hablando de un formulario. All right, so fill in. Thank you. All right, so uh, the line with a topic relevant to the recipient and not just document or important, right? So siempre ponerle, mira que hace énfasis en la parte del subject. ¿Qué dijimos que era el subject? ¿Era él? Asunto. Asunto, very good. All right, excellent. It says include a polite salutation. ¿Qué era la salutation? Un saludo. Un saludo. Un saludo siempre por ahí. ¿Qué era polite? Cordial. 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 Write your main point on the opening statement. Siempre incluir la razón, la razón principal por la cual estamos hablando, right? Mira que aquí, like this one. Do not use all capital or all lower cases. Do you know what is capital? Ay las las mayúsculas. Y lower case son las minúsculas. Ni todo en mayúscula, ni todo en minúscula, right? Hay que usar las eh, mayúsculas correctamente. Evitemos abbreviations, por ejemplo, como esta que tenemos aquí. Esto más que todo va para, like, uh, you know, normally, um, like teenagers, right? Que a veces ponen estas caritas o algunos eh, emoticos, right? O, o emojis, sorry, that you can this one, all right? Then you go ahead and check this one right here, like number six. What is it, what is it, number six? It says, be polite, ya lo vimos que era polite, right? Eh, please, para una solicitud y thank you para agradecer, all right? Oh, mira, super important, brief. Get a brief, people? Breve. Breve, 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 right? And use a closing phrase, como las que vimos, best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. right? And it says, add signature block with appropriate contact information. Para esa es la primera vez que vemos el 9. ¿Qué es el signature block? ¿Sabemos qué es el signature block? Or not? El signature block sería como la firma digital, right? Donde viene ahí, por ejemplo, digamos, eh, mando el email y automáticamente todos mis correos ya llevan como un pie de correo que dice fulanito de tal, gerente general, número de teléfono, correo electrónico y etcétera, right? Como una mini tarjeta de presentación. That's what happens, que viene al final del email. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Yes. Great. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. All right. And new word, new word here. What is approved, Fred? All right, with a proof, Fred. All right, what is it, people? Revisar. Revisar. Exactly, right? Deben revisar antes de enviar el mensaje. Muy bien. 
Excellent. So questions about these tips? No? No questions. Bueno, eso es lo vimos anteriormente, así que voy a solo aquí. Ahora ayúdeme con esto, please, ladies and gentlemen. Veamos aquí. Regarding this one. El primer email address, el primer email dice acá. Tenemos aquí una... It says right here. Sí. Eh, ¿Para qué? Ah. Tenemos un asunto. Este es el correo. Y esta es la despedida. Muy bien. Entonces... De acuerdo a lo que acabamos de ver, hemos visto toda la clase ahora. All right, so, sería un formal o informal este primero. It is informal. 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 Right? informal. There you go. Excellent. So, informal. Porque, mira que dice ahí. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. See you. Okay, aquí lo, lo primero que nos dijeron es, no abreviations, right? Así que este see you. Es la abreviación de tú. Right? Or, let's say, for example, this one, ni siquiera tiene un saludo, que vaya, acordate que el sábado, pero el sábado, ¿qué? What happens here on Saturday? Hay reunión de sábado, juego de sábado, actividad del sábado, right? So, means more information. Um, now, let's see this one right here. The second one, it says, eh, Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Y tenemos here siempre a quién, el subject, el asunto, un pequeño el nombre de la persona. What happens right here? Don't forget the documents, right? Eh, pero aquí hay un error en el DOM, ya me acabo de fijar, right? Ya se falta la apóstrofe y la T para que sea negativo. All right, excellent. So, ¿y ese sería formal o informal? Informal. Informal. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Formal o informal? Exactly. I will go and say this one. Es, eso sí, debemos de aceptar que está mejor eh, redactado que el anterior con un poquito más de information, pero sigue siendo informal. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you, my friends. You're doing good. All right. So let's see here. Now, it says right here, everybody pay attention to this one. Oops. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Now it's your turn. All right. So write a professional email to a coworker. Confirm that you need to meet with her or him tomorrow. Apply the suggestion for the examples number five. All right. The examples that we got. Ahora sí, es su turno de escribir un email. Utilicen un notepad. All right. O donde que puedan compartir la pantalla después. All right. Así que vamos a ver ahí. Cómo escriben sus correos. Vamos a trabajar en couples o group of three, depending on the people. You got it? Yes. Questions, people, questions, questions, questions. No questions? I don't. I don't. Yes or no? No questions? Va, entonces vamos a. ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahorita, people? What are we going to do? Redactar un correo. Exactly. Así que wake up. Hello. All right. And let's go to the breakout rooms, everybody. Right, great, 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 excellent. Analisa is alone here. Carlita, running with Analisa. We then you on your room number two.
So let me see here. Hello. Hello, teacher Sandra. <laughs> ¿Cómo vamos ahí? No. Ah. Estaba, sí, perdón, estaba abriendo acá la casa que acabo ah. de venir. Perdón. Sí, ya le escucho, solo parqueo bien el carro, permite. Ah, va esto. Ay, ahorita, disculpe. Bye. No problem. If you need help, let me know, all right? Okay. Yeah. Pues ya iría el destinatario con el saludo, ¿verdad? Ana Meléndez. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, Hello, teacher. Tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Normalmente, no, normalmente mi trabajo, eh, independientemente del área que es, eh, siempre pues saludamos, ¿verdad? Buenos días, fulanito de tal, ¿cómo estás? Eso podría incluirse también aquí en un correo, pues como la estructura que estamos viendo. Right. No debería de preguntarse cómo estás. Fíjate que, eh, well, in that case, I would say no. Hay unas expressions, por ejemplo, hay una bien, 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 bien común mm -hmm. que dice, I hope this email finds you well, que sería, espero que se, como digamos, espero que se encuentre bien. Que se bien. encuentre bien. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Sí, ajá, acaba normalmente. Sí, también es algo, sí. ¿Cómo podríamos, well. cómo se escribe? <ríe> Ahí va. All right. Ok, thank you. Ah, ok, sí. Uh -huh. Sí, nosotros usamos esto, espero que te encuentres bien. Y lo otro también, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo vas? Pero sí. Entonces sería como lo, lo formal en un correo, pues sería esto que nos escribe aquí, ¿verdad? Right. Ok. Ok. What else? Bye. Eh, luego iría pues el contenido y tendríamos que hacer ya la descripción breve de lo que queremos Ana en este caso que sería recordarle a nuestro compañero que el día de mañana tenemos una reunión uh -huh. Uh -huh. entonces eh, quería quiero ver la palabra La copia aquí creo que la tengo. There you go, excellent. Sí, aquí vamos, teacher. Uh, sí, quiero ver. Uh, eh, eh, ¿Cómo poner? Te escribo para recordarte. Ajá, Después del saludo, eso. eso. Eh, okay. We regret we for you. ¿Cómo? Por ahí estaban los. No, pero eso es para despido, eso es para despido, ya. <ríe> Sería. Mm, ese es para el, sí, para el despido, no. Lo que me está preguntando Ana ahorita, como que te escribo uh -huh. para. Right? Estoy escribiendo para hacerte saber, mm, para decirte, uh -huh. para informarte, uh -huh. o en eh, respuesta a, o este, ¿ve? Que eran like in regard to, in connection to, in reference to. Ajá, gracias. Uh -huh. so in case you need this one, it's information. It's available on the internet, so I can share this to everybody here. So let's see. Nancy. All right. I les mando el link para que you can see it, all right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Ya casi nos vamos. Volunteers. No. <laughs> I don't finish. I haven't finished or no. We 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 have we haven't. Sorry. We haven't finished exactly. We haven't finished. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go to a different room to see how they are doing and then I will come here, all right? 
Okay. Mamá's letters the the four days dedication. Remember the meeting on Saturday at eight. I am confirmer you. No sé. A ver, tenemos tenemos ahorita lo que es el fill in. Teacher. Ahí lo que tenemos es un point 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 like two. Vaya, chicos, por ahí le escuché a William una 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 frase inventada a la hora de decir Ajá. les les que le escribimos como era como dijo ahí William como acerca de algo Ajá. así más o menos vaya para eso tenemos frases que vimos al principio de la clase aquí están miren sí, tiene razón miren aquí están ve do you see that uh, I'm writing in regards to que era en regards to relacionado a conectado a en referencia a Right. Entonces, eso es lo que podemos sí. utilizar. Acuérdate que el email no tiene que ser tan extenso como los ejemplos sí. que vimos aquí. ¿eh? Mira, vale. el asunto, tanto, reunión para el sábado, estimado fulano. Eh, sí. Y entonces venimos con una de estas frases. ¿eh? Right. I'm writing to let you know. Vea, no estamos, te escribo para hacerte saber que el viernes o el sábado tenemos una reunión a las 8 de la mañana. All right. para discutir o para revisar el correo o whatever. All right. eh, y de ahí podemos así ve. Eh, I'm look forward to hearing from you soon. Espero escuchar acerca de ti. Eh, please let me know if you have any questions. Por favor, hazme saber si tienes algunas preguntas. O gracias por tu atención. Y cerramos con el saludos cordiales. Sencillo. Ah, ok, teacher. Vamos a ver cómo estamos. Voluntir desde ya. <laughs> no, no, excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Dang and right. Did you put them under this as can I let them make a tour? Para más o menos formularlo, o, uh -huh. o así como lo que hicimos de las otras preguntas. Ahí está, mire, el link para okay. que lo pueda ver. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Thanks. No problem. Ah, chao, ahí. All right, so. <risa> There you go. I'll go to a different room, my friend, para luego más demás. Y después okay, venimos. All right. Ok. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Finished? No, todavía no, teacher. Está fácil. <laughs> Dios. Dios, 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 Dios. Por un pie, por un pie. No, no volunteer. Mirror says one. Okay. I don't know if like in your location is hot or not, but here is extremely hot. It's the same, very hot place. Where do you live, Maria? Lupango, teacher. My goodness. Very yes. hot. And you, Mauricio? Ciudad Arson. Santa Ana, right? Yeah. There, is it hot there or is it raining? Hot. Oh my goodness. We are melting. You know why it's melting? No. It's derretirse. Uh. Casi, casi, teacher. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll close it right now so you can uh, go to the main station. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher.
All right, welcome back to the main session. So we are about to finish, but before we go, we are going to um, check some of the emails that you have created, right? So just waiting for somebody here. Who's going to be the volunteer? Oh, Erling, are you a volunteer? Or Anna or Nancy, uh-huh. Who's the volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. Ready, Nancy, to share your email? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Let me... Okay. Hmm. Very good. Bye. Uh, this is my email. All right, excellent. So we're almost here. What can we do here? Okay. There you go. Excellent. So, but good. Do you see the screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right, good. Excellent. Dear Ana Melendez. So that will be actually correct. All right, so, aunque en inglés no utilizamos el nombre, el primer nombre, sino que solamente el apellido. All right, entonces, mm, okay. dice, Dear Mrs. Melendez, for example. Ah, sí, Esta sí, frase sí. que tenemos aquí, I hope this email finds you well, tendría que ir aquí de un solo con el, uh, this one. You know this one right here. Yo una sola vez con esta. Move it. All right. There we go, exactly. So we can actually have it here. Regard, best regards, Mrs. Ana Melendez, Mrs. Melendez. Perfect, perfect. Y ahí estamos con todo. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, facilito, right? Thank you, very good job. All right, excellent. Thank you, you can stop sharing the screen. Let's see, who else, who else, who else? Uh-huh. And the rest, oh my goodness. One more, please. Erling, hey, Erling, thank you for being the volunteer, Erling. Sorry, teacher, I couldn't do it. Uh, why? Me sacó de la, de la, de la prayer car room. Uh -huh, but you didn't tell me anything. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más, qué más? Uh -huh, let's see, let's see. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Bueno, you know, ya vimos este here, all right? So, entonces, this is what we're going to do. So, we have the homework, all right? I'm not going to be in a group or una picture or una captura del email que hayan tenido que hacer. That's what we're going to be doing, all right? So, va a quedar como homework. Así también los que están de oyente van a poder participar y hacerlo. Y lo voy a revisar en el grupo. Lo pueden enviar en el grupo, una captura o una foto del email que tenían que haber entregado ahorita. All right, entonces vamos a concluir with this one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, necesito verificar esos emails para ver que ustedes han comprendido eso, right? In the meantime, so let's just go with the self-assessment right here. So now, I can write short and professional emails to coworkers. Remember, React sending independently, with occasional help or only with help, all right? So please react so we can finish today's session, all right? I wanna see the reactions, please, people. Thank you very much. Remember, you can react or you can send it to the chat. All right, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mauricio, very good. Mm -hmm. Sandra, very good. Carla, all right. Good, 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 excellent. Anna Elizabeth, excellent. Thank you, Nancy, very good. That was an easy topic, all right? So very good, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Right. 
That's okay. We're going to stop right here. Pero, por favor, necesito que se comprometan a mandar esa captura o esa foto del correo del que tenían que hacer. Porque de esa manera yo voy a ver si ustedes ya comprendieron. If you understood how to do it. All right. Así que, I know you are busy. I know you're busy. Pero, like, no importa what time. All right. Dejen en el grupo a la hora que usted termine. Yo se lo prometo. Lo voy a revisar ahí. Yes or no. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much on this one. All right. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining the class tonight. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you tomorrow. No se les olvide enviar eso que les pedí al grupo. Don't forget to send that to the group. All right. Solo Nancy está eh, exenta de ese homework porque ya lo mostró here in the class. All right. Los demás. Yes, please. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Thank I'll you. see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, William. Thank you, everybody else. Thank you guys for joining the class. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Bye-bye.